Hi, and welcome to another video of Architects Design Studio. Not too long ago, while sitting on the beach, I was chatting with a former colleague of mine. She said her job responsibility involved having to check design drawings of complete design packages for code compliancy and how tedious, hard, and time consuming this job is. She spent complete work days going through codes, extracting information, checking design drawings, etc. Even said she would kiss me if I could do anything about it. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a dream though. So I went ahead and offered my assistance in that by creating a set of external apps that check designs for code compliancy. We were able to do that in minutes and with minimal human effort. In today's video, I'm going to talk about minimum egress widths. Just as an example of how this tedious process could be eliminated, and for your knowledge, it could be done for all disciplines, architecture, structure, mechanical, and for almost all kinds of codes. As the name implies, it checks design drawings for minimum egress widths requirements according to the IBC standards. It's based on corresponding code sections, gives you information about those sections and about which elements are violating the code, if any, uh, and takes you directly to where you need to be in the code if you wish to. So let's check this design drawing for code compliancy. Oh, it's not, it's not compliant to the code. If you wish to, you can tick here and it will take you directly to where you need to be in the code section or chapter 10. I went ahead and created another drawing, another copy of this, and I made it compliant to the code. So let's try it again. Now it's compliant to the code. Those are the sections that the program is based on. And this video is just the first uh, of a series in which we will talk about design code checking in Revit automatically. So please stay tuned and I'm looking forward uh, to hearing from you about what you wish Revit had. Thanks and see you next time.